and welcome to my Let's Play FTP 1.16 University series episode 39. I think it is episode 39. Anyways, we got quite a bit of stuff to do. Um, I know I said in the last episode we, uh, we were going to build the turbine. We're going to have to do that in another episode, preferably in the next episode, because there is a lot to do and I still need to figure out um where to put it and whatnot and i'm also having some issues with the radioactive uh poisoning up in the area now so i actually have to build the hazmat suit and also i want to make a geiger counter and a decimator which won't take much but um, after we make that stuff, I can finally go up there and be okay and not get radiation poisoning because I, I died last time. So we are also going to put down the centrifuge. Well, actually, the centrifuge is up there. That's where the start of all the radioactive waste happened. And then going to put down the reaction chamber right next to the isotopic centrifuge because that will actually take, give us uh, the material we need to go even further into mechanism um it's called plu plutonium i believe yes in plutonium you need to in order to make the rest of this stuff here um if we do make this we can actually go and make the official qio drive array which is insane it's basically applied energistics without wires and yes the title of the quest does make sense but um, we're not going to make that today. But it's a, it's a step up to get to that. But we're definitely going to make a turbine. I promise you that. This is I told you it was going to be a huge part of our series. So let's make the hazmat suit. All right. It's actually pretty cheap. All it requires is lead and orange um, dye. Make that. Make that. And then make this. And that task should be completed. I don't think I get a reward or anything like that. Nope. No rewards. And then make the Geiger counter. When used, the counter will tell you your current radiation exposure where you're say around 100, whatever those are. So it will tell you your current radiation dose. Basically how radiated you are yourself. Always higher numbers are worse. Green is safe, yellow is unsafe. Orange is dangerous and red is critical. Yeah, I kind of want to know because it's starting to show um, radiation. Okay, now we got that. Take all this off and then put the hazmat suit on. <laughs> that looks cool. That looks real cool. Now we can actually finally go up there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. Not yet, but uh, I'll fly up there and then put the hazmat suit back on. So we'll fly all the way up here. And, uh, yep, there is definitely some radiation in this area. You can tell from the green little specks here and there. That's not good at all, so I'm definitely going to have to wear this from now on. And I want to see what's going on here. The exposure is 1.58. 700? Okay, I those are some big numbers, I believe. My radiation dose is 22.157. Wow. Now this is actually... We shouldn't act. It. We should uh, turn this off because there's a ton of steam. And I believe the reason being why is because I was kind of playing around with the isotopic, isotopic centrifuge and it started leaking out uh, radioactive waste into the centrifuge itself. But anywho, since I think I am completely safe by wearing this hazmat suit, um, you, I wanted to do is to take some of this radioactive waste from this barrel and go put it right into the centrifuge, which um, I don't have my pipes for. Oh no. But uh, also on top of that, I had to put a elite mechanical pipe here because it was absorbing way more water than it was putting out. 
So I got to go all the way back and I got to be careful because I'm not wearing my <laughs> not wearing my boots. And of course, I wasn't wearing my uh, jetpack. Oh, I'm a dead. But anywho, I'm going to go grab the, what is it, the uh, pressurized. Let's see if I can just find it. Because there's not a whole lot of items in this um, machine now. Okay, I can't find it now. There we go. Uh, mechanical, universal, pressurized. That's what I want. Okay. Now we can go back up there as I try to fly up there and it this doesn't work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, maybe make another teleporter. Come on. Oh, is there the free jumpers? My gosh, I am a ditz today. Well, they both look the same. Well, the icon looks the same to me. Anywho, we're just gonna fly up here. It's a good thing I put all of my generation up here not to worry as much and i'm bleeding thanks okay you can put this here and put this here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna put that in there and it's actually working it's already making plutonium and there you go Excellent. And now I'm just going to take this pressurized reaction chamber, put it here. And then on the side, it should be input. Actually, on the back, it should be input. And it's got 125 millibuckets of plutonium. And uh, is that all the nuclear waste I made? It's still producing nuclear waste, so that's a good thing. So it's definitely going to take some time, but taking that, transferring it over here, transferring it over here, and then emptying out, going into here, and then turning into pellets. So it's actually going to be quite a while, and I feel like I can't go any further unless I make the turbine, because I don't want to waste all this precious steam that could be could have been made. But right now, this place is heavily radioactive. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I moved all of my power generation up in this area. Definitely. But, um... 13, 14 USB. I have no idea that unit of measurement. I need to figure that out. But, anywho. All right, I think, well, this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching, and uh, now that I'm perfectly safe, I think the next episode is um, going to be building the turbine. So please like and subscribe. I also live stream on Twitch from 8 to 10 PST PM. Um, so if you want to just come and watch my stream, by all means, you can do that. Everything else is in the description below. Also, I kind of talk a little bit more on Twitter. So take care, y'all.